classic game room review of Forza 2. Let's take a look at the Suzuka circuit. And I've been driving this track since I was a kid, literally, because they had a version of this in the Atari 7800 game, Pole Position 2. They even had the Ferris wheel. By the way, did you know that the first Ferris wheel was engineered by George Ferris and debuted at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago? It even had Westinghouse air brakes. Carried about 2,000 people, the gondolas were the size of living rooms. I also know a lot about driving on Suzuka. Not in real life, but in video games. Let's go through two laps here together so you can get a sense of what a wonderful track this is. It's both a marvel of track engineering and also video game design because the guys that created this are incredible. I haven't been there, but I've heard from people that both Forza 2 and Gran Turismo 5 have tremendous renditions of this track that are actually very similar if you drive on the real track in, um, what's that called? Real life. Yeah, it's usually not as exciting as video games, but it's still there. Real life. Although video games are going to have uh, better graphics than real life pretty soon, so watch out. It's amazing the sense of speed that you get on this track. And this has been one of my favorites on countless video games, countless driving games. And let's head into these straight away here. Ferris wheels on your left. You can wave to the people stranded on the top. What's great about this track is you rock it into these two tight turns, then shoot off into this technical part. That really challenges you. It's, uh, forget the actual technical term for this, but you go into this thing too fast, you're off the road. And it's pretty tough to pass people in this thing, too. I, I uh, occasionally will pass people coming out of that last turn, heading into this long curve to the left here. I like to just tap the brakes there, get my wheels dug in, and then, and then try to make that right-hand turn as quickly as possible. Ride the brakes hard into the next right-hand turn, shoot under the bridge. And you just rock it out with an amazing amount of speed. Try to make that next left going as fast as possible without completely losing control. And after you've driven this track a couple times, you, you start to learn where to brake so you don't annihilate your car 200 miles an hour. I decided to drive this track in my Lamborghini Countach, the yellow one. It's got the game room decals on it. Because this is the classic game room. And we can do crazy things like that in Forza 2, which is one of the great things about this video game. I love creating the different game room logos and wind squid logos. Check out the detail that they've put into everything from the barriers and the fences and the cones and the, and the tire marks on the road. The trees look great. Incredible feeling of speed. It's a very high contrast course, easy to see. And one that never gets boring, maybe because I've been driving this track in video games for 
for years. I know it very well. And it's one that I like to use to break in new cars. Not cars in real life, but cars in my video game alternate reality here in Forza 2. This Lamborghini is a great car to drive too. I've, I've always loved the Lamborghini Countach. Never, uh, never managed to pick one up though. It's on my list of uh, things to do. Visit Belgium, buy an Atari 5200, get a Lamborghini Countach. The big difference between the Atari 5200 and the Countach is that, well, you don't have to pay additional insurance on the Atari, and it doesn't use gas. Always a plus. This game is awesome, and you can pick it up for, for such a great deal now. Forza 2. See you in part 4.